Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can strum through a really easy song called Wicked Game by Chris Isaac. And it's going to start on an A minor chord. The way you play A minor, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the G or D string on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes an A minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from A minor, we're going to be going to a G major chord. The way you play G major, first finger is going to go to A on the second fret. Second finger is going to go low E on the third fret, and the third finger goes to the higher, the skinny E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes a G major chord. And then there's only one other chord that shows up in the tune. We're going to be playing a D major. The way you play D major, first finger is going to go to the G on the second fret. Second finger is going skinny E on the high E, or, or the high E on the second fret. And third finger is going to go to the B on the third fret. And if you strum just the top four strings, that sounds a D major, and it sounds really, really happy. And basically, our, our chord progression through the entire song is basically going to be following A minor, G major, D major, D major, A minor, G major, D major, D major. But a lot of times with a song like this, to make it a little bit more interesting, I like adding what I call a strum pattern to it. And one of my favorite 4-4 four, four strum patterns for a song like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So if you just took the A minor and just tried that a lot, you have down, down, up. try that a lot to keep your right hand used to that but then we try that through our verse progression and our chorus progression which is uh, it'd be the A minor with the down down up, up, down G down down up. what you need to kind of play this song. Now there's some lead licks at the very very beginning and the way we're going to play these we're going to take take the second fret on the G string and kind of play that note and then we're going to be doing a slide all the way to ninth fret which has got another dot on it. It's the last single dot before the double dot. So you got two slide to nine and then we're going to just slide nine back to two. Hey how's it going? <laughs> doing good? <laughs> cool. All right, have a good one. So the way that lead licks works, that lead, <laughs> so the way the lead works at the very, very beginning of the tune is we're gonna take second fret on the G and kind of play that note and then slide all the way to ninth fret. So we're gonna keep a little bit of pressure on the string the whole way up to kind of get that second fret to slide all the way to nine. And then the other part that kind of comes in is we're going to play 9 and slide it back to 2. So we got 2 slide to 9 on the G string, 9 slide back to 2 on the G string. But then the next part of that solo lick, you, you still do the 2 to 9 slide, so we got 2 slide to 9. But then there's a little melody that comes down the string. We're going to go 7th fret on the D, and then 5th fret on the D, and then 4th fret on the D, and then 2nd fret on the D and then open G, and then we're gonna go fourth fret on the D string. So we got two slide to nine, seven, five, four, two, open G, fourth fret on the D. This is kind of a cool lead leg that kind of comes in. And then when we actually get to the solo part, there's actually another really cool leg that comes in where you play the open high E, and then first fret on the B, and then third fret on the B, and then first fret on the B, and then open B, and then second fret on the G, and then second fret on the G twice, and then open G, and then fourth fret on the D, but then we play fourth fret on the D again, and then go open G, and then second fret on the G. So we got open E, one on the B, third fret on the B, one on the B, open B, two on the G, and then two, two, open four on the G, D, 
and then four on the D, open two. play along with the song is instead of starting on, on an A minor chord, Chris Isaac is actually starting on a B minor chord. So what you want to do is take a capo and if you put the capo on the second fret across the entire second fret then A minor is really a B minor chord and your G major is really an A major chord and your D major is really an E major chord. But we could basically think those same things. It's a little weird for, with, with the opening lick because now your two slide is really a four to eleven slide, but you could be thinking that same thing that two nine nine two two nine seven five four and then two open and then four on the D. <laughs> so you could be thinking that same thing, but but now our frets have kind of gotten <laughs> two frets added to everything. But then to go through our verse progression, that way you have A minor, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up. Sometimes instead of doing a down, down, up, up, down, up, I like doing what I call a bass down, up, up, down, up. Where on the first down, instead of doing it over all the strings, you could play just the bass note. Like for the A minor, you could play just the A string for the bass on that chord and then do your down, up, up, down, up. And then on the G chord, you'd be doing the low E for the bass. string for the bass. Of how you can play Wicked Game by Chris Isaac. So, good luck!